the question that we need to be asking ourselves tonight is, are we ready for our pro-life pastor to go to jail for preaching a message against abortion? Are we ready uh, for the pregnancy centers that we support to be fined out of existence for refusing to refer or provide for abortion? That's what's on the ballot this November. It's called the Equal Rights Amendment Proposal Number 1. You've got to flip the ballot in order to find it, and there you will see language to this effect. This proposal would protect against unequal treatment based on, among other things, pregnancy. It also protects against unequal treatment based on the reproductive health care and autonomy. It's code for abortion. It's designed to modify the New York State Constitution, enshrining abortion as a fundamental human right. New York State has no shortage of abortion. It is the abortion capital of the United States on a per capita basis. It also is the abortion headquarters of the United States with Planned Parenthood being headquartered in Manhattan, providing 40% of all U.S. abortions. 60% of all abortions are chemical abortions. Danco Laboratories is the major offender. They're headquartered in New York, too. Some might ask, you know, is this like the baker in Colorado who refused to bake a cake for a same-sex marriage? No, it's much worse. What essentially the Equal Rights Amendment does is it creates a protected class within the civil rights aspect of the New York State Constitution that will ultimately pit itself religious liberty and freedom of speech against abortion rights. It doesn't actually provide equality. It in, essentially justifies the systemization of pro-abortion bigotry. It's designed to shut down and quell all public pro-life expression uh, from physicians to pastors to pregnancy centers to the average person on the street. So what does this mean? A pastor preaching a pro-life message uh, could be fined or imprisoned for engaging in what might be considered hate speech. A physician might be uh, sanctioned. Their license could be revoked for refusing to participate in abortion. A pregnancy center could face fines um, and be shut down, uh, even if, if, perhaps even imprisoned, if they refuse to, to provide for or refer for abortion all because they could be perceived by government authorities as a conspiracy against rights. It could even go so far as an individual, a person, talking to another person uh, in their driveway or their neighbor uh, and, and, and insisting that abortion is wrong and, uh, and well, seeking to, 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 to help a woman have her baby. The purpose, again, is not to provide more abortions. We've got plenty, and we're outsourcing them to other states in violation of the Comstock Act, by the way. It's to shut down all public pro-life expression. That's the goal of this kind of thing. And how do I know? Well, it's because we're, we're right now, the organizations that I run are engaged in at least eight different lawsuits. There's a, there's a, um, a game afoot, so to speak, to shut down pregnancy centers and to vil by vilifying and demonizing them through lawfare. We're doing everything we can to continue to fight for the ability to fight for women and children who are being victimized by a mercenary abortion industry. And so I ask you to join me as I vote no on proposal number one, Equal Rights Amendment, to protect women, to protect, to protect true choice, to protect children, and protect our ability to freely express uh, the truth that all people are made in the image of God and therefore equally valuable. Our dignity comes, comes from God, our creator. We are inviolable not to be violated. And so vote no uh, to protect civilized order. Thank you again for having me. It's an honor to be with you. God bless.